everyone so in the previous video we learned how to do the scrapping of this particular page and we created an excel file with the information of book title this rating and the prices now as promised in the previous video that we will be learning how to move to the next page and keep on scrapping the same information here i am with the next one so in this video we're gonna learn about how to move to the next page and again fetch these three information from that page and keep on repeating this thing till the last page okay so let's go back to the script which we had created previously so to achieve our current task what we're gonna do is we're gonna divide that this particular task in two parts first we will clean whatever we created in the previous video and then we will loop through each of the page so to start with cleaning what i'll do is i'll first create a duplicate copy of this particular script so that we don't end up changing the things now what has happened no such file or directory exists how come that could be possible all right so uh, i just saved this particular thing and now the problem is solved so what i can do is i'll just create a duplicate and i will rename this particular script okay and this is renamed now we will start with removing the unnecessary part right so for example this thing is not required every time and this soup is of course needed so i will just put it over here and then we don't need to have a pretty five view again and again this practice is also not important this thing is gonna be important over here so what i'll do is i'll just put i'll just put it at the top and then this out of this i don't need to print this so i'll only fetch the for loop from here and i will just keep on doing the commenting also right so i will say fetch the fetch the books title okay now next thing which we need to fetch is i'll just remove this particular part and this part is also not needed next we need to fetch ratings so i'll just copy this from here come back over here and then just pay, put it and just remove this over here i'll come over here and put this over here so if you are getting confused when i move the screen here and there that you don't have to be fetch the ratings ratings all right so those two patches i just copied and put it over here now the next thing which we need to fetch is fetch the prices prices and for that what we're gonna do is we will take this particular patch from here just cut this from here and come over here put it over here right and this particular list i'm just going to take it from here and put just right over here now we are done with bringing everything at one place now all that we need to do is just bring this patch also so i'm just going to take this from here and right over here what we will do is i'll just come over here okay and just paste it over here now if i run this so here what i do is i don't need to re uh, you know put that into the excel again and again so it is saying that there is some error because i didn't run this particular patch so i just executed it it says that rqst is not existing now if you execute this particular part so what's gonna happen is you're gonna get this set of 20 books now after this what i gonna do is now the next part is to loop through each of the pages so for that what i'll do is i'll just take you to the web page once again now let's move to the next page and you see on the next page whatever books we have we just got it over here now to fetch this what we need to do is simply take this from here and put it over here right and just run this so when you execute this here is the next set of 20 books from the next page now again if you want to move to the third page before that i would say if you are confused whether uh, this is changing or not just take the name of this first book so that you could see when we change it it is different all right now i'll come back over here and i'll change this to and i'll make it three and when you run this it's going to give you the another set of 20 books so the same thing you keep on repeating till 50th page and you keep on getting the data that's it right 
is it how we are going to solve this no 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 way right this is very silly things it's it's not the good thing right we cannot come over here every time and you know keep on changing this thing manually so we need to figure out a automatic way how can we do that so for that first we need to create a range of 1 to 50 okay and we all know we can use the numpy library numpy numpy library to create that kind of range so let's create that range np.a range and in that we will start from 1 and end it 51 because numpy arrange always excludes the last one right so if you see here we got the range of list of 1 to 50 numbers okay now we just need to store this in a variable which is called pages and if you print pages over here so you got this now the next thing which we need to do is we need to you know automate this particular url so let me first copy it from here and put it over here i am creating a variable called url and in that i'll put this okay so here is that now i need to keep on changing this number so how can we do that so we can simply do a for loop right so what i'll do is i'll say for page in pages and after that what i'm going to do is this thing so i'll split this particular string in three parts right so this and then i will say str and in that i will say page and i'll remove the number from here i'll just remove this number from here then the next string with which i will concatenate is this one so you see we are concatenating three strings right over here all right now i will try to print each of this url just to show you whether we are doing it correctly or not now because it is 51 so it might take longer so i'll just do try it on 10 pages only you see here we got all the 10 pages okay now i'll again switch back to 51 and uh, let's see how much time does this take it is not taking much time so here we have all the pages now we got the list of all the pages till 50 now we need to repeat this task again and again okay so for that what we're going to do is let's just copy this from here let's just copy all this patch from here and come back over here in this one and put it right over here now we need to do little bit of arrangement this list does not needs to be reset every time so what we're going to do is we're going to keep it out of for loop right so we will just keep it out of for loop we are done with that now next thing which we're going to do is first of all we need to fix the indention because this is for loop right so we fix that also we don't need to print it again and again we're gonna remove that all right now we can remove this part also and this part as well okay now in the web here where we have the url we will just replace where we had actual url we're gonna replace it with the variable which is named as url which we just created at the this line at this line okay now this is it we are done with automating this part now we just need to remove this patch out of the loop till here it will have the loop and over here it there is no loop this is it we are done with moving the things right so when you run this particular patch what will happen every time loop will change this url to the next one okay now let's run this when we run this what's going to happen it's going to take a little bit of time because there are 51 pages so it will take approximately three to four minutes till then i'm just going to pause this particular video all right so here we are done with uh, scrapping that particular part from each of the pages and now you see here we have 1000 records fetched because there were 50 pages and on each of the page there were 20 books listed now we are done with fetching all the books from each of the pages right now all that we need to do is just export this in excel so which you can do to excel oops it's taking a little bit of time we just need to you know bear with this okay here is it and now i will just put the location of the file where i want to just export this particular part so just right over here and then i'll give a name to this 
which will be book list all and dot xlsx and because i don't want to print the index so i will say index equals to false let's try to run this again it is taking a little bit of time it depends on this machine capacity if your machine is very fast it will do quickly if it is slow then it might take some little bit of time right so here it is taking time so apparently you can understand that my machine today is not performing very well so it will take few minutes and then it will do, it will do the exporting ideally i should not had to do over here i could have done this in the next shell because what is what it is doing is now it is running everything from the scratch that's a miss which i did over here but let's be with this all right so it looks like it is exported now you can see there is no processing it is completed let's go back to this folder and see here we have book list all now we will just open this and see if that is done or not yes let's see how many records that we have here we have 1001 which means the first one is the heading so just ignore that and then we will just expand this to see so here we are done with extracting all the thousand books over here okay now you have the complete list so this is how we can move to the next page every time and we can scrap the content prepare the uh, scrapping script for first page and repeat it for all the pages by looping through each of the pages i just hope that you liked it you understood it just in case if you have any doubt put that into the comment section i'll definitely get back to you until then happy learning wish you very all the best